Hey everybody, what's going on? This is your boy Pablo, aka the Pod Boss, CEO of Sarkarigans Media Group. We are a group of creatives who are changing the way media is done. You may not be able to say it, but you will hear what we have to say. And for all you non-comprehensive motherfuckers out there, there's only one thing else to say. Everybody shut the fuck up. It's some potting going on. Sarkarigans, baby. To get the right answers, you must ask the right questions. I'm fucking with Shuddy, make it look easy. I fuck up the party, make it look easy. I do the hardest shit, make it look easy. She playing hard to get, but she really easy. Spread love, that's really easy. That's really easy. Drinking that hard liquor, but taking it easy. Taking my time. Get a wetter than Fiji. Trips, and that's really easy. That's really easy. It ain't all that complicated. Yes, no. When you front of big easy. <laughs> Don't make it too complicated. Got the juice cause I concentrated. You sleeping, your girl could get dominated. White or brown, I just take me a combination. They trying to grab me like I'm nominated. Once I get the beat, I cool. The red light is on. Let me get my questions. Uh oh, there you go. Got so many things saved in them. So. Uh, matter of fact, let me get the, so I can get the ambiance. Let me get a full screen of you. <laughs> I can see the pretty smile and all I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna lit some candles. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I get the pretty smile and all that. All right. Well, damn. Hold up. I've asked you the first question already. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, I have. Okay. Hmm. I mean, not on this. So yeah, not on this, but you, yeah, all right, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Pablo, aka Grandma Saber Grandson, aka the Bearded Wonder, aka Pod's Gift, aka the Pod Boss, aka the Black Poseidon, aka George, aka the Jester, aka CEO of everything and Mr. Moore, a.k.a. is in the HBCU. Pinky's up. What up, though? Um, and we're here with another episode of questions. And I have... <laughs> you'd be surprised, but I have probably one of the most requested people to be on this show. From her listeners to my listeners, this is one of the most requested people to be on this show because they know one thing for sure, two things for certain. It's going to be an honest damn answer coming out of this lady's mouth. I ain't got no reason to lie. Ma'am, introduce yourself to the world, please. I am Della, the bitch that you love to hate. I'm coming to you from the lovely 97 North Pretty and Gritty podcast. You might have to change your slogan soon because people are loving you more than they hate you now. But see, that's, that's the funny part, though. They claim to love me, but then uh-huh. like behind closed doors, they be like, something wrong with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. I, I promise you, that's my goal by, no, by no, January. Your slogan changing. Oh, yeah, they be like, they be like, she ain't had to say all that. All she had to do was say. <laughs> See how she on my show making political statements with a shirt and yo, yo, we we going we getting canceled. That's I'm cool. ready. To, um, I should have got me one to say all light skin lives matter. <sighs> you know we got you know we got black podcast um uh, uh, matter on the on the on the site too. So yes. we have one of those. Uh, but yeah. So um, this is questions. Uh, I, I get my my loved ones on here. And I asked them 20 some odd questions and we get real answers. And like I said, this is going to be very, very interesting. I like questions. questions. (laughs) All right. So let's start it off. Question number one. If you were a man for 24 hours, what are you doing those first six hours? The first six hours. You know what? This is the interesting thing that you just asked me this because I've been on 
TikTok heavy lately and I've been seeing some stuff trending on TikTok. So if I was a man for six hours, the first thing I would do would be wash the crack of my ass. Because they're saying men don't do that because they think it's gay. I would wash the crack of my ass. You are so fucking disrespectful. <laughs> I would um, get all up in there. Well, <laughs> you know, in, in our meetings, us men, us men, the brotherhood we have, uh, some of them do not put their finger in their ass and make sure I've they can. I've been, I've been hearing the conversations. Yeah, I don't know how you heard that one. That's one of them Illuminati ones that we keep to ourselves. I but I keep my ears to the streets. Sheesh. This is wash your ass. I, all right. You heard it here first. Wash your ass, fellas. Wash your ass. It's imperative. TikTok snitching again. We don't, when we down there, we don't want to get a some backdraft. Like I said, more than the most requested people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, number two. What is holding you back from your dream? Mm, I wouldn't necessarily say my kids because they always mm. going to be a number one priority. Yeah. I would say it would be not having the full help of another parent with them. Okay. Okay. And... Are you looking, or would you? Accept, not looking, because that's that's wrong. Are you, would you accept the assistance if a, a gentleman caller would like to take that role to help you out? Yeah, as long as I'm feeling them, yes, I would. I would definitely let a gentleman right. help me out. Hear that, here, folks? Step daddy season full step. <laughs> Look, you just gotta be the right step daddy. That's all. Hey, hey, hey. Step day season, okay? Hey. We'll figure all the rest of that out. Don't worry about it. If you won $10 million, right? Mm -hmm. You took care of the bills. You got the houses for everybody. Everybody's straight. What is your first selfish gift for yourself? My first selfish gift? I'm about me a... a, a a brand new, all types of stuff added inside and out. I want a Tahoe. I want like a Tahoe bigger than like a a, a, a sixteen wheeler. Like <laughs> it's gonna have all the TVs. All the TVs. <laughs> gonna have a surround sound. Okay. Yeah, I want a huge ass Tahoe. I like it. Uh, what would you do? If you knew you could not fail, shit, everything. I would own businesses. I would be all the managers. I all would the be managers. all the managers. I would be everything. I would be all the CEOs. Yeah, hey, uh, I would run. I would run everything. <laughs> everything. If I couldn't fail, uh -huh. man, I'm going. I'm going. You Catch gone? me. Catch me. I like it. Catch me. <laughs> <sighs> What gets you out of bed every morning? Adderall. <laughs> Adderall. 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 We do not condone um, <laughs> drug use here on uh, questions. All right. All right. I'll take it back. Um, <laughs> um uh, my money. Okay. I need my money. That's what I'm, I was, I was how I'm going to wake up out the bed if I don't have a bed. Good point. My Good money. Point. Okay. Oh, weekends is Adderall. We'll go ahead and continue. Money and Adderall, folks. That's 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 what does it. We need a shirt that says that money and Addy. Oh, all right. Go ahead and continue. Stay have you ever been heartbroken? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Most definitely. What happened? That's why I've been single for so long. Ah, okay. Yes. Expound. Um, last relationship. It was a relationship that that person wanted, actually. I didn't want to be in a relationship. But he kind of just eased his way in there and he said all the right things. That's the PF chain dude. No, hell no. Hell to the fuck no. 
Don't do that shit. Mm-mm. I left that nigga right there at PM Chains if you want to be technical. <laughs> but no, no, he, 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 he asked for every, everything that he, I guess you could say manifested. He manifested everything that he wanted. He manifested a family, a house, everything he got. Like, we moved into a bigger place. Mm-hmm. My kids was, like, basically calling him dad. Mm-hmm. He kept bugging me about getting pregnant. I finally end up getting pregnant. I get pregnant only to find out now that he was cheating. Mm. And then he put me through so much stress. I ended up having a miscarriage. Mm. And then during the process of me having a miscarriage and going through depression, he was nowhere to be found. So that's why I've been single ever since. And I got trust issues. Yeah, I would too. Yep. (laughs) And crazy as it is, we're friends now. Of course. We still socialize. He still calls and he checks on the kids and whatever. But uh, don't you best believe Dollar reminds him all the time, nigga, you the reason why I'm the way I am right now. That's the Pisces in her, people. Um, What worries you the most about the future? Having a black son. Ooh. I'm going to tell you. Having a black son. You can't cancel this episode, folks. I'm sorry, having a black son that worries me the most. He don't do much. He don't mm-hmm. come out the house much. He's not like I mean, he goes to the mall and do little stuff with his friends. Like they even go to the gym and stuff. But mm-hmm. he don't do as much as most sixteen year olds his age do, as far as just hanging outside and stuff. He's kind right. of like in the house type of person. But that's what scares me is because he's not really into the streets. He's not street smart. Yeah. So the littlest situation can get him caught up, and he wouldn't know no better. Yep. Yeah, my brother got locked up because he was on the bus stop one day and uh, these uh, these boys came over with a television and asked him to pawn it because it was too young to pawn it. And he was like, yeah, sure. Pawn it. Come to find out, whole house got robbed. That was the wow. last thing he was trying. Yep. Yeah, so he just not... He, he, he don't always make the brightest decisions when it comes to certain things because he just don't get out like that. He don't get right. out enough to know better. Yep, I get it. I get it. If you had 24 hours to live, what would you do? Who would you kick? <laughs> I had 24 hours to live. Yeah. I would go to my baby father's house. I would bust all the windows out the house. Oh, I thought you were going to have some like, romantic shit going on. Hell no. I would flatten all that nigga toy. <laughs> I would destroy all his tattoo equipment. That's only going to take me like 30 minutes, though, because I'm quick when it comes to shit like that. Um, uh, What else would I do? I would destroy all his stuff. I would probably go beat up some people that I've been holding back on, only because Mm -hmm. I'd be trying to save face because you don't want to have beef with people. You know, you grown. But if I only got 24 hours, this is a fair one for a lot of motherfuckers out here. (laughs) All right. It's gonna be a fair one. <laughs> Ass kicking is Adderall everywhere, <laughs> and I might even go up in a liquor store and steal some Patron. Hey yo, I got you, corner. <sighs> oh shit! Um, what matters most to you in life? My kids and my parents. Yeah, that's it. My kids and my parents. As long, as, they, long as they straight, I'm good. She could have said SMG too, but that's okay. My bad. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't have to work for y'all and pay y'all bills, though. You know, what you I mean? don't. I ain't got to take y'all to the doctors. You might one of these days. I don't know. <laughs> Talking about Pablo going get in this wheelchair. Let you know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see how that brunch go. We'll see how that brunch right, goes. Right, right, right. Things might happen. I don't know. It started off like this, and then we ended up like this. Like, hey, <laughs> it's me. I want you. You know, you wanted how I got here, right? Right. Get your ass up out this bush. <laughs> Let's go back. Right. <laughs> um, are you taking anything for granted? Mm, I'm sure I am. I'm sure I am. Um, honestly, you know what? I have learned, especially when I had COVID, I take breathing for granted. Mm. 
because I have asthma, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Even though my asthma didn't bother me that bad when I had COVID, it was a fear. Right. Because of what you saw so many people going through. Yeah. So I just kept having that fear, like I ain't gonna be able to breathe. And then, you know, just in general with my asthma, especially when I was younger, having pneumonia and stuff like that, you don't realize how much you need to breathe until you can't breathe. Yep. Like when I got choked out before, you just don't know how much you need to breathe. <laughs> now, was, was this a uh, a good choke or a bad choke? I mean, it started off as a good choke, clearly. <laughs> Shit just went terribly wrong after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Choking, Adderall. Fair ones. You know, we keep adding them up. Okay, we'll keep adding them up. I'll be playing at home. <laughs> Yell out bingo when you get there, all right? Right. <laughs> a little chart. Talk about, I know she's missing something. <laughs> right. Uh, busting out windows. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check it all off. The toxic bingo card. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. But I'm honest. You are 110%. Um, what have you given up on? If anything, my baby father paying child support. Mm. Just said fuck it. I gave up on that. I ain't even gonna. I ain't gonna never see that thirty thousand, Pablo. If y'all know what she's talking about, you can go ahead and get up on that talk college report. Um, she explains that thirty thousand. I ain't gonna never see that. There. It's up. The ante is up since then, but yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna never. I gave up on that. I have given up on that. Um, Anything else I've given up on? Lost some 92 bricks. See? Now you know how Jay feel. I gave I give up. I don't know if I I'm about to kill you. I'm about to kill your friend. I'm about to kill your friend. And I can't say who because Uh, I don't know who's watching. But Oh, damn. Not the... Okay. Um, hey everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> I don't know if I gave up on anything else. Okay. So, uh, I mean, for the most part, I just keep it moving. I don't really say gotcha. good work, but um, okay. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Um, the best day that you can remember. Well, well, most memorable has a, a look. Day. If it was a day I can remember, I clearly can't remember because I'm sure it involved drinking. Right. Um, what were you doing that day? Probably drinking and just hanging out. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably say one of the best days I probably really had that I can really remember is when me and my sister went to the Bahamas. Nice. And we just had like a, a, a day of just like day drinking and partying nonstop. Like uh <laughs> Dexter St. John over there. Man, who who his name was William. <laughs> hey, was William. Della got a groove back. Oh no, hell no! I don't trust them people over there. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I was. Men don't white good anyway. He so. was like our tour guide because, like, they tell you when we went there, like, not to go off the resort. Yeah, it's dangerous to go off the resort, right? Indeed. But uh, you know, over there, they like Jamaicans. They got like a thousand jobs. So, like, the same person that helped carry our luggage also worked in doing this in the hotel and that. Right. So he was just making conversation with us, and he actually ended up taking us off the resort to a couple of like clubs and bars, and nice. we had more fun there than we had yeah. on the resort. Oh yeah, okay. Hmm. And you know how old I am? This is how you know I'm showing my age. Guess where we went? Where? MTV Island. Hey yo, okay. Yeah, youngsters, remember that? Y'all know about that, y'all know about that youngsters. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Della aging everybody on here. Right. right. Uh, what's your motto in life? I got a couple of them. Uh, mm. Pick a good one and explain pick, it to the folks. I'm gonna pick a good. I'm gonna pick. A, I'm not gonna be ratchet this time. I'm gonna pick one that I tell my kids all the time, and you probably, if you ask my kids, what does your mother say to you the most, they'll tell you. Be a leader and not a follower. I tell my kids that almost every day. That's a good motto. Be a leader and not a follower. Okay. 
If you were to have a theme song for your childhood, your teenage years, and right now, what would those three songs be? Damn. Okay. Childhood. It would probably be uh Damn. Childhood. Mm. So childhood, it probably would be something corny like the theme from the Wonder Years, that old show. <laughs> My childhood was pretty, it wasn't extravagant, but it was basic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever, you know. Like, what would you do? Right. Say <laughs> do? You stand up and walk out on me. Bring me your ears and I'll bring you a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that would be like that would be like it was like you know kind of mel- it like wasn't a bad childhood. It was just right. like, normal. Okay. I was a, I was a little nerd as a child though. I like to read. Okay, and I stayed to myself. I like to read a lot. Shout maybe, that's why, journey. maybe that's why I got a smart mouth because I was exactly you, you have a vocabulary. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I was into the books all the time. The right. teenagers. Mm. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say like uh, the system, like don't disturb this groove, because my teenage years, I can't really speak on a lot of that, and you know. It's... I thought you were gonna say Dina Howard or something, but nah, just no. I'm so glad we didn't have all that shit that we have nowadays when I was a teenager. Exactly. Stay out my business. Don't disturb this groove. Exactly. <laughs> um. Right now. Right now, my theme for right now. Uh, um, probably would be so a C Lo. Fuck you, man. <laughs> yes, people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I say this I is say her. It. This is her. Yeah, it probably that definitely. Be the, Fuck you. It probably would definitely be that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it would be that. Three good songs. Three good songs. <laughs> if your body could talk right now, what would it say? Bitch, lay down. Mm. <laughs> it's okay to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It's okay to sleep more than four hours <laughs> at a time. I've been hearing that. I don't believe it, but I've been hearing that. Man, my body is so accustomed to getting up at a certain time. It don't even matter what time I go to sleep. I could go to sleep at 3.30 and I'm still going to be up by 4.30. I can, I could go out here and get drunk or be drugged. It don't even matter. I'm still popping up. See? And don't be money. mad at myself because I really want to go back to sleep, but I can't. See? The money got you trained. It do. It do. <laughs> even on the weekends, it do. Uh-huh. How old would you? Hmm, how old were you when you first fell in love? That's a good question. Thank you. Because it's like you know when you think you in love, and then you find out in the next relationship that it wasn't what you thought it was, and that really, oh, damn! All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and go with the first time. Okay. I think I was like around twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Okay. You still talk to him? We still friends, yes. Okay. We're still friends for every damn body. Yeah, we are. We still I just seen him like last week, I think I ran into him and his daughter. See. And I ain't seen his daughter since she was like this big. I get it now. You stay friends with everybody, so just in case you have to kill somebody, you know exactly where they are. No, because you know what? I would say out of like all my exes, it's mm-hmm. probably only like maybe one or two that I probably would just say. I would probably try to run you over with my car if I seen you walking down the street. Everybody else, I'm so cool with because I'm I'm not holding grudges. I'm too old to hold grudges. I don't want to have a heart attack. Gotcha. Okay. I don't hold grudges. And nine times ten, it was their fault. So then they trying to beg for forgiveness. We can be cool, but it ain't gonna be nothing else better than that. Okay. Have you ever cheated? Yes. Why? I should have been honest, but I wasn't. I cheated because. The sex wasn't given what it is supposed to have gave. Mm. Why do you teach him? 
because I was young at the time. I gotcha. didn't. Okay. It wasn't even a thing in my mind. So like, oh, let me teach him what I want. It was like, yeah, we were compatible. He take he took care of me. He was helping me out in a situation I was in at the time. He was really good to me, but the sex was just really basic missionary. Mm. Missionary would be fun. Yeah, but not all the time with nothing else. <laughs> and they're trying to watch TV like, nigga, you in the way move. Like, hey, yeah. You know. <laughs> Oh man. Um, what helps you regain motivation when you're down? Music. Mm. Music. Any, any particular genre? R and B, slow music. Slow music gets you up. Yep, it does. It'd be so funny because when I listen to it, especially like if I'm going through something, people are like, oh, why are you so sad? No, I'm really not sad. It's, it's actually bringing me out mm -hmm. of whatever it is I'm going through. Now, I listen to like rap music. If you hear me listen to some like fabulous or something, oh, I'm pissed and I'm mad and somebody ready to get fucked up. But if I'm actually listening to like heartbreak music, slow jam music, I'm actually in a good mood. Okay. Peculiar, but okay. What is your definition of happiness? <sighs> Do I have a definition of being happy? I don't know. I really want. Is to be happy. The married ass ain't even happy. <laughs> <laughs> only, yeah, time her, only time her shit fired when she said, um, yeah, "We won't need Tata alone." <laughs> um, what's happy? I don't know. I guess happy is when you're just in a good place and you're satisfied. Yeah, like you're that's not, your definition. Yeah, when you're just not yearning or fiending for too much. Like you know, you ain't rich, but your bills are paid. You know what I gotcha. mean? Like. <laughs> You ain't in 100% health, but you ain't on your deathbed. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like content, though. That doesn't sound like happy. I mean, to me, I would say it's happiness because it could be worse. Okay. That's where I be at with it. I mean, okay. everything ain't going to be perfect because if it is it's perfect, not. you still going to want more. Right. <laughs> okay. What is the meaning of life? Get money. Uh <laughs> If, is there a meaning? I don't know if there's a meaning. If the only way I can say is don't, even though I do it, don't live just to be living. Actually, do okay. something. Okay. I don't live just day to day just to say I'm alive. Actually, you know, but right now I'm just living day to day <laughs> to say I'm here. Like Greg said, everybody dies, but okay. everybody lives. Exactly. Exactly. Terrible line. Terrible line. Don't talk. Um, I'll tell one of that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna tell her that. Um, what is the title of your autobiography? Um, Surviving Della. Mm. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't even be that though. Um, um, the title of my autobiography. Bingo! If you're playing out. <laughs> Surviving though. No, I ain't that bad. Damn it. There ain't no surviving me. Right. Um uh, it probably be just don't fuck up. That would be my title. Just don't fuck up. What chapter are you in right now? I'm still in the middle. So probably like I would say out of 20 chapters, maybe like I'm at nine. Yeah. Yeah. What's that chapter? Okay. That chapter would be called uh, Don't Be So Cold. See? This is not the right show for this, okay? <laughs> this is not the right show for this. So we're going to move on. The very last question. Della, mm -hmm. what is your definition of love? What is love to you for the, the future stepdaddies out there so they can know? Love is honest. Love should not hurt. Mm. Um, hmm. Love should be free. You should never be confined if you if you if it's love. Love is free. Um My definition of love. 
Love is give and take, okay? All right. Don't just be asking me for shit all the time, motherfucker. Give me some shit. Indeed. <laughs> and love is appreciation. Okay. Appreciate a motherfucker. You ain't got to do nothing big. But bitch, I rode past Taco Bell and I saw this two for two or two for one or whatever. I got you a little taco box. I know how you like the Supreme. I couldn't afford the whole big ass box, but I got you a little Supreme taco, extra side cream. That's appreciation. That's love. You can't afford the five dollar box. They, they need to reevaluate something in life. But you, look, times is hard. If it's love, you don't care. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. It's appreciation. I like little things. I don't like the big things. I like little things. That's a lie, but that's a whole other story for a whole other day. That's a different little <laughs> big thing. You talking about love, damn oh, okay. it. I'm sorry. My bad. You're that's right. different. Shit. The love is all that. Honesty, trust, appreciation, give and take. The little things. The little things. That's it. Okay. Well, the last person that was on here uh said that it wasn't fair that I asked you all 20 some odd questions. Why? So he asked me a question. So I'm gonna give you the opportunity to ask me one question. That's just nosy. That just sounded like an insecure person that said that. <laughs> um if I had to ask you one question. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you could commit any crime right now besides killing someone, what would it be? Oh, bank robber. <laughs> I'm robbing the fucking bank. <laughs> this one for Cleo. I'm robbing the fucking bank. <laughs> they owe my bitch, don't they? They owe my bitch. Yep. Because <laughs> she earned all that shit. <laughs> Overcharging y'all niggas, which I did to Cleo. I'm telling y'all right now. You right. Yeah, you right. I think that would be the top. Banks ain't mm -hmm. even real banks no more, but you're right. Right. Yeah, you going to MT, you upset with yourself. Ain't, ain't nothing in there. But <laughs> right. <sighs> thank you so much. You welcome. See, it wasn't that bad. No. Wasn't that bad at all. In no. your 30 minutes. Look at you. See? Don't be scared. You know what I mean, so uh, thank you so much, Della, for doing this. Can you tell yep. the people at home where they can find you if you want to be found? All that good yep. stuff, like they say on the other show. And if you want me to find me on the internet, because mm -hmm. you ain't gonna find me nowhere else. <laughs> yeah, you might find us someplace. <laughs> Secret locations, only the the people that know me know it. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can find us on Google Play. You can Remember find that. us on Spotify. Mm -hmm. You can find us on Apple. Mm -hmm. And you can find us on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And it is a 97 North. Pretty in, just in, not and, but in, gritty. Yes. Thank y'all for watching and listening. How are you doing this? Another episode of Questions where. You know, I ask my friends questions and I get answers. And as you can see, my friend Della has all the right answers for me because this was a wonderful, wonderful time. And I'm going to my own questions, my own little show. I'm trying to tell you. Mine, I'm telling you. <laughs> I wouldn't call mine questions, though. I would have to think of that, though. Yeah, like, I'm just asking or something like that. You know? I'm nosy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you'd be surprised people answer the questions. You'd be like, you really think that way? I'm like, mm-hmm. Right. So, um, to quote the man with the little hat, to get the right answers, you must ask the right questions. And until next time, follow everybody on Star Carriers because we need it. The live shows coming soon. And uh, until then, I will be preaching a sermon. Yeah, Lord have mercy. Just hope she has clothes on when she does it, people. So, um, don't you know no good? If she if she's on the screen with just a head, this. You don't worry about the rest of that, okay? And a white collar. Yep, that's it. It's just the white collar in her head. Don't worry about it. nothing else is going on in. It's, Focus right here. Yeah, all right. It's, it's party up top. I mean, all right. Business up top. Party okay. down up. All right. Uh, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Until next time, we are out of here. Out. <laughs> Get your independent out of here. Question, 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 question.